The Catholic Sunday Mass readings for August the 29th, 2021, the 22nd Sunday in Ordinary Time, Year B. The first reading is from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, Now Israel, hear the statutes and decrees, decrees which I am teaching you to observe, that you may live and may enter in and take possession of the land which the Lord your God, which the Lord, the God of your fathers, is giving you. In your observance of the commandments of the Lord your God, which I enjoined upon you, you shall not add to what I command you, nor subtract from it. Observe them carefully, for thus will you give evidence of your wisdom and intelligence to the nations who will hear of all these statutes and say this great nation is truly wise and intelligent people for what great nation is there that has God so close to it as the Lord our God is to us whenever we call upon him or what great nation has statutes and decrees that are as just as the whole law which I am setting before you today the word of the Lord. <clears throat> the responsorial psalm is Psalm 15. The one who does, does justice will live in the presence of the Lord. Whoever walks blamelessly and does justice, who thinks the truth in his heart and slanders not with his tongue, the one who does justice who will live in the presence of the Lord, who harms not his fellow men, nor takes up a reproach against his neighbour, by whom the rep reprobate is despised, while he, he honours those who fear the Lord. The one who does justice will live in the presence of the Lord, who lends not his money as usury, and accept no bribe against the innocent, Whoever does these things shall, be, shall never be disturbed. The one who does justice will live in the presence of the Lord. <clears throat> the second reading is from the letter of, of James. Dearest brothers and sisters, all good giving and every perfect gift is from above coming down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no alteration or shadow caused by change. He willed to give us birth by the word of truth, that we may be, kind, may be a kind of first fruits of his creatures. Humbly welcome the word that has been planted in you and is able to save your souls. Be doers of the word and not hearers only, deluding yourselves. Religion that is pure and undefiled before God and the Father is this, to take care of orphans and widows in their affliction and to keep oneself unstained by the world. The word of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. The Father willed to give us birth by the word, tr word of truth that we may be a kind of first fruits of his, crea of his creatures. Hallelujah. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. When the Pharisees, with some scribes who had come from Jerusalem, gathered round Jesus, they observed that some of the disciples ate their meals with unclean, that is, unwashed, hands. For the Pharisees, and in fact all the Jews, do not eat without carefully washing their hands, keeping the traditions of the elders. And on coming from the marketplace, they do not eat without purifying themselves. And there are many other things that they have traditionally observed, the pur purification of cups and jugs and kettles and beds. So the Pharisees and the scribes questioned him, Why do your disciples not follow the the tradition of the elders, but instead eat with a meal, a meal with unclean hands. He responded, 
Well did Isaiah prophesy of you hypocrites, as it is written, These people honour me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. In vain do they worship me, teaching as doctrines human precepts. You disregard God's commandments, but cling to human tradition. He summoned the crowd again and said to them, Hear me all of you and understand. Nothing that enters from outside can defile that person, but things that come out from within are what defiles. From within people, from their hearts, come evil thoughts, unchastity, theft, murder, adultery, greed, malice, deceit, licentiousness, envy, blasphemy, arrogance, folly. All these easels, evils come from within and they defile. The Gospel of the Lord. <laughs>